in this video we are going to understand about construction which is a chapter number 11 of class 10th hello my awesome students welcome back to my channel akshar i am nana and i usually make videos related to ncrt solutions for classes 9 to 12th so let's have a first brief introduction that what you are going to understand in this video is mentioned in this slide so the link for the remaining videos related to exercise and examples is given in the description box you can check out the description box and see my related videos so let's start our today's topic which is chapter number 11 construction of class 10th right so let us start that what is construction and what you have learned earlier in your class 9 okay so in your class 9th you have learned the method of construction by using straight line and compass so let me tell you one thing that for construction there was a scientist with the name euclid and he has posed around four methods which are the basic methods of construction right so among those four methods we have you have learned only one method in your class 9 which is by using straight line and compass okay and by using straight line and compass you have learned how to bisect any angle how to draw perpendicular bisector of line segment and how to draw some constructions of triangle right so in class 10th we are going to learn how to do division of a mm -hmm. line segment right suppose any line segment is given to you and it is said to you that you have to divide it in the ratio of m is to n okay so what you will do you will take a scale and measure you will take any measuring device and you will measure the length this is m part and this is end part suppose you have given you have been given any line segment and you have to find out what is two part and what is three unit, right so what you will do you will take an measuring device and measure two value two units here and three units here okay so you will use measuring device to mark the length and then mark a point on it that okay it is two centimeter and this is three centimeter right but suppose you are not having any measuring device then what you will do you will use this construction method which is given in your book to measure the line segment okay so basically there are two methods given in your ncrt book that there are two ways in which you can measure or you can measure these kind of lengths or you can use the construction method okay so before going to those two methods let us first understand the real meaning of real examples of the construction methods so in real life basically the builders are using this method of construction what they do they use addition subtraction division multiplication and working with fractions to in their work right while building any build any construction by building any building what the builders do they make an estimate that how much steel is needed how much weight is needed so that the books and furnitures can tolerate them right next how much square yard of carpet is needed while constructing any building so basically three concepts are used while building any building right while constructing any building these three concepts are what geometry trigonometry and algebra these three concepts of mathematics are used while constructing any building then comes to the probability so builders first decide that what can be the issues while deciding while also while designing the concept of satellites scientists also use the construction part right so let us understand now that from where the concept of construction had came earlier when the people do not know about construction then the people have designed some buildings based upon their assumptions and their tricks and those buildings are valid till now right so after that the mathematician greek mathematician euclid had given a mathematical formula which is known as golden ratio about 2000 years 
ego so that formula is still valid while building any construction right so based upon that formula lots of construction lots of buildings are constructed till now okay so the brief introduction that what is the use of construction in real life and what is the history behind construction right so let's come back to our mathematics part which is given in your ncrt book class 10th that there are two ways of doing construction right so let us suppose any line is given to you so let us suppose there is a given question to you that there is a line segment and you have to divide that line segment in the ratio of m is to n right let's understand the first way in this video and i will make another video for the second way please see my that video also for better understanding of second method okay so let us suppose that there is a line segment and you have to divide your line segment in the ratio of m is to n okay so for simplicity let us take that we have to divide our line segment in the ratio of 3 is to 2 right so there are few steps you have to do while doing the construction so what are those steps so let us understand the first way in this video and i will create another video for the second way second method so if so please see my that video also for understanding the second method so the first method what you have to do you have to draw a straight line first the line segment to which you have to divide okay so give this as name suppose this is my a b okay and at point a draw an acute angle draw an acute angle okay so how you will draw this acute angle by with the help of a compass you know very well you have used this method in class 9th also okay so let us suppose i have drawn a an acute angle of 60 degree okay so this is my angle of 60 degree okay now with the same compass use the mark the total marks on this line equal to 5 why i am using this 5 you do not need to change the dimensions of your compass otherwise the results will not be correct 1 2 3 4 and 5 so why i have taken only 5 because i have to divide my line segment in the ratio of 3 is to 2 and 3 plus 2 will give me what 3 plus 2 will give me 5 okay so now take this first value suppose these are my points this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 this is a4 and this one is a5 okay now take this end point b and join it with the point third point because the ratio of first value is 3 so join your line with the first point that means you are going to join b point with the a 3 so this will be my ratio so this will be my ratio now this is this is my three units and this is going to be my two units okay these are the some steps you have to follow while using the construction method with the first method this first step is that let's have a recap that the first step is that you have to draw a line segment draw a line segment then you have to draw an acute angle okay and then with the same compass with the same compass compass angle draw total of m plus n arcs on the line okay now join the second point of line segment second point means this time this b point second point of line segment with the mth arc with the mth arc okay
if you find this video useful then please do like share and subscribe my channel so that you can get more updates related to my new videos so let's meet in the next video in which we are going to solve some examples of exercise 11.1 and if you have any questions so please add your comments in the comment box till then take care and bye